Hi lovelies, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be making a bomber jacket and these are the measurements that you will be needing. So I have with me my supplies, I have my ruler, I have my tape measure, I have my curved ruler, my pen and my paper scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a starting line. This starting line is also going to serve as my shoulder line. I go ahead to create a starting line and label it as my shoulder line. So from this shoulder line, I'll take every other measurement. So the next is to mark my bust point. My bust point is from my shoulder to my bust. I'll mark my bust point and I'll go ahead to also mark the length of my jacket. So for this, I'm using 26 inches as the length. You can use your desired length. It mustn't be 26 as mine. Then I'll go ahead to connect it into a straight line and label accordingly. This is going to be the bust line. And then for the length, the length is going to be the hem line. So as you can see me labeling it so you don't get confused while taking other measurements so after this the next thing i'm going to do is to create my neckline so as i didn't note in the beginning this is the front pattern so this neckline is my front neckline so for the front neckline i'm using three inches for the wideness and three inches for the depth I'll mark it this way and then create a rectangular shape and then I'll go ahead to use my curve ruler to curve it. So and that is it for the front neckline. So after that, I am going to mark my shoulder, my shoulder divided by two. I'm going to mark my shoulder and from there, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant. And then I'm going to connect, connect it to my neckline. And that is it for the shoulder slant. So the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my chest line. My chest line is going to begin from this shoulder slant. So I'm going to mark it from that shoulder slant. So to get your chest line is your bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5. Then you mark it and then I connect it with a straight line as well and label it as my chest line. So I also go ahead and connect the line from the shoulder slant to the chest line. This is where I'm going to mark my front armhole. So after this is done, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my bust circumference. My bust circumference divided by 6, I'll mark it on that chest line. And guys, because this is a because this is a bomber jacket. Uh, which are not usually fitted. I'm going to add extra three inches to the bust measurement. One inch is going to be for the sewing allowance, and then the extra two inches is just for the extra extra allowance because it's not supposed to be fitted. So you can add two inches, two point five or three inches, whichever one you desire. Depends on how loose you want it to be so i'll go ahead and add my extra three inches so afterwards i'm going to create my armhole but for the front armhole i'm going to find the midpoint from the shoulder slant to the chest line you can find the midpoint by just folding 
your tape this way just like you see me doing then on that midpoint i'm going to go in by half of an inch and then i will connect it in that curvy way so guys i'm using my free hand to do this you can use your curved driller if you are not that good even after using my free hand i still use my curved ruler to be sure that what i am doing is bright So and that's it for our armhole. So I'm going to blend the extra allowance that I added. I'm going to blend it into the armhole so that it doesn't look sharp. So I'm going to measure what I'm going to measure what I have on my bust, and I'll take it down to my hemline. So like I said, this is not supposed to be fitted. It is, it is usually in a boxy shape. So whatever measurement you have on your bust, you take it down to your hemline and then connect it into a straight line. And that is it for the front uh, pattern. So while I was drafting it, I didn't add a, an allowance for um, for the zipper allow i didn't add the zipper allowance so but i'm going to add it on the fabric so on the shoulder i'm going to add extra half of an inch i'm doing this on my pattern you can you know decide you can choose to do yours on your fabric so this is because if you don't add this extra half of an inch on the shoulder after joining your front and your back um um shoulder it will affect the armhole right so even if you don't add it on your pattern make sure you add it on your fabric so i'm just writing this here to be to remind me that i didn't add my extra inches for for my zipper allowance so for the zipper allowance i'm i'm use i'm going to use two inches but i'm going to add it on the fabric while cutting so the next thing I'm going to do is to come down to that hemline. I'm going to go up by 2.5 inches. What I'm doing here is to create the, this design you can see on the front of the jacket. So I'm going to go up by, by 2.5 inches and on the side I'll also go up, uh, come on the side by 2.5 inches. I added extra half an inch downwards for the folding. Then I'm just going to connect it this way. Just connect it like you see me doing. Well, this might not make sense to you right now, but as we go, you will realize um, what I am doing. Well, this part is actually optional. If you don't want to have that design in yours, you can skip this part. So, and that is it for our front pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So remember that that design is just like two inches in, at the front, right? So the other part that I'm going to cut out is going to be where our ribbon will be fixed. Just cut it like so, like you see me doing. So for this neckline, I'm not going to cut it out yet because I'm going to use this to draft my back pattern. 
so after cutting out my back neckline i will go ahead to cut off the front neckline so i'm going to get a new pattern paper and place this on it to cut out my back pattern so i place my front pattern on a new pattern paper then i'm going to pin it just to hold it in place so that i can do the work i need to do for the back pattern So yes, the first thing I'm going to do here is my back neckline. So on that shoulder line, on that shoulder line, I'm just going to come down by one inch. I'm just going to come down by one inch and then I'll use my curve ruler to curve it that way and that will be my back neckline so and the next thing is the back armhole so the back armhole is a bit shallower than the front armhole so I'm just going to extend it forward by extra half of an inch and then connect it this way and that is it for the back armhole so the next is the the hem so guys, the design, that design that um, um, I showed you previously on that picture was just in the front. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to create this line to know where I'm going to start cutting from. So and that is it for the back pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. So after cutting it, I'm going to label, take it off. I'm going to label the back and also label the front to indicate which is the front and the back. So next, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the front uh, neckline and label it as well. So and that is it for the front and the back pattern. So the next is going to be a sleeve. The next is going to be the sleeve. So um, to cut a sleeve, I bring one of the pattern and measure the armhole
I'll measure the armhole because you know why cutting I added extra inches and everything so I'm just going to go ahead to measure the armhole and confirm what I have here because it's what I that is what I'm going to use to cut my sleeve so what I have here is 14 so I got a new pattern paper to draft my sleeve and I'll go ahead to create a starting line as well then from that starting line I'm going to mark my cap height to get your cap height you divide your bust circumference by 12 divide your bust circumference by 12 and whatever you get you 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 mark it from that line downwards And after marking it, I'm going to connect it into a straight line. So the next is to mark my armhole. So what I got was 40 inches and I'm going to go ahead and mark that 14 inches on my on that line that I created and after that I'm going to connect in a slanty form I'll connect a line from my cap height to my starting line just as you see me doing I'm going to connect that line like so. And there, I'm going to go ahead and find the midpoint. On that line that I've created, I'm going to find the midpoint by placing my tape and then folding it into two to get my midpoint to get your midpoint you can just measure what you have there and divide it by two and then i'll mark it and from there i'm going to curve my sleeve like so just like you see me doing guys i use my free hand to do this you can use your arm or curve to do this as well and just curve it like so you end up having an s shape curve So from that line that I created, I'm going to mark the length of my sleeve. From that starting point, I'm going to mark the length of my sleeve. Mark it and then I'll connect it into a straight line. And then the next thing is going to be the roundness of our sleeve. Added extra half of an inch because I'm also going to attach my ribbon fabric on the sleeve. So this extra half inch is for the sewing allowance. Then afterwards, I'm going to um to mark my sleeve round i'm going to mark my bicep and then i'll go ahead to also mark the roundness of my wrist
your slit circumference divided by two you mark it this way and then on the wrist divided by what you, whatever you get as your your the your your wrist circumference you divide it by two and then you mark it and then you connect it this way so i added extra one inch on that end for the sewing allowance i didn't add on the upper part because i already, I already added it while um i was drafting the bodice pattern so i'm just going to connect it like so guys it's not supposed to be straight it's just going to be a little bit curvy and then that is it for our sleeve i'm going to go ahead and cut it So and that's it for our pattern. Here we have our front, our back, and then our sleeve. So I'm going to use this to cut my. I'm going to use this to cut, place it on the fabric and cut it. So but at this point, I realized that the video was going to be too long if I go ahead to cut it. So. Um, I'm going to see you on my next video where I'll be cutting and sewing it. Thank you for watching.